And then here again, you might remember me from other live coding sessions, such as the one literally one hour ago. <laughs> okay, so this is the uh, WebGL. I named this what? WebGL shader something? I don't remember. Um, okay, a tiny bit of background. I have been doing things with maps and WebGL for years now and trying to understand how it works. And I have grown to hate uh, WebGL frameworks because none of them allow me to understand how the things uh, work. Um, so long story short, I ended up making my own framework, which is what I'm going to demo here. Uh, this has been like literally years on the making. On the making. Uh, and if you are curious about what I'm looking at in the screen, I have replaced the leaflet demo web server with the uh, this other WebGL framework or web server. What you're looking at here is just three basic symbols that are implemented with some very basic um, interactions. There's no, this is still a work in progress, bear in mind. I'm just going to, uh, to explain a tiny bit about the, the techniques used here. So this is using uh, one pixel aliased lines and some very simple polygon fields and sprites, which is what I'm going to focus a bit about. So this is the typical uh, marker thing that uh, I want to get rid of the name uh, marker and call it something different. This is in fact a full map uh, mapping framework without the word layer. In it. So I'm happy about that. Um, when you're doing WebGL, everything is triangles. And something that I really wanted to understand and work with is triangles and vertices. So that's why, that's the main reason I'm working or, or I'm doing my own framework for this. How is this sprite rendered? Uh, from the code point of view, it's this thing. You just give it a geometry and some options and the options are the image to use, which has to be loaded. That's why the whole thing before, I know this is highly, but you know, bear with me. And then the size and the anchor, the anchor is the point which uh, the core, the pixel coordinate within the image, which is which corresponds to the actual geometry point. And from the, uh, you have to, from the anchor point, you have to extrude the thing like horizontally on the bottom side and vertically to, to the top side. And that's with some very basic calculations here and here. I want to show you very quickly how this looks like. Uh, like without the um, with a different shader. I'm checking the I'm changing the shader here just to display, just to show that the marker is really a square and not the transparent thing. The transparent pixels are actually being processed in the GPU and fetch from the texture. And there's there's a tiny bit of work done, done per transparent pixel. And this is actually two triangles with, uh, which I can show by uncommenting this, the back line here. Yes, so this should be way clearer now how these things are being done. I'm going to put a uh, magnifier tool here just to so you can appreciate how the marker is really two triangles most of the pixels inside are transparent but internally this is just triangles with four vertices two triangles per marker or per sprite and then since there are two triangles and its triangle is three vertices that means six primitive vertices thing uh, it, the, the nomenclature is a bit weird and I'm going to go really fast because my goal for the following 55 minutes is to create pie charts with WebGL triangles in a live coding session. If I can pull this off, it will be awesome because that's, that will tell me that the whole framework that I have set myself up can allow other people to develop cartographic symbols in a not really uncomprehensible way. So wish me luck. I'm going to go incredibly fast. I'm not going to stop at any point because I am um, stripped for time. I really just want to make the things happen. Uh, for a pie chart, I'm going to need, instead of two triangles to make a square, I'm going to need way more triangles. And all of them are going to be extruded from a center point. So I'm going to need a vertex at the, uh, at the beginning. 
and uh, uh, one vertex at, one vertex at the center, and then more vertices at the um, um, at the, the edge of the uh, of the pie chart. So, for example, this blue thing here is going to look like uh, one triangle here, right? And whoa, I don't want to do this. It's going to be like that's going to be one triangle. And the red part is need to be like one different triangle, and then the green part is going to be several triangles because I need to uh, make this thing. You know, uh, uh, if I just make one triangle, it's going to not display properly. So at the uh, for a first approach, I'm going to just make one triangle per section or per uh, slice of the pie chart. But I do hope that I will be able to. Um, I hope I will be able to then uh, extend this to make several triangles per um, slice, per pie slice. Okay. With that said, I'm going to copy paste files around. I want to save a copy as uh, 13 uh, pi. I want to make my acetate sprites into a acetate for pies. I want to save a copy as acetate. I, I want to make my symbol into a spy symbol. So then my example, instead of the whole thing I'm doing here, which is loading the image and all that stuff, I'm just going to not do that. And instead of that, I'm going to just make one pie here. I'm going. I'm, I'm starting by the by the end. Uh, I'm starting the house by the roof. We say here. So I don't want a spray. I want a pie. And then I don't. Uh, uh, I don't know if I want just want options or yes. I will need the options because I need, I need a radius in pixels. So that's going to be forty. And then the slices. I want to them to be something like. Uh, the red slice is going to have 10 points of data, and then the green slice is going to have uh, 15 points, and then the blue one uh, is going to have 8, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm, do not ever let me choose the colors for anything, for any serious work. If you see me coding fervorously, that's why. Um, this is going to be 12, and then I want some black one, which is going to be 13. Whatever. This is the shape I want my end result to look like. Okay. So now I need to uh, make sure I'm importing the file. By the way, this doesn't use any bundling. Uh, this uses uh, ESM modules. So that's why I can just forget about. Oh, no. Uh, this is. Uh, bye. I'm not going to run any kind of uh, bubble or roll up. There's no tooling for this at all. And hopefully, I can start working with this. Uh, I want to open Pi. And this is obviously going to be Pi. And I, I shouldn't worry about the, um, the nomenclature here. Uh, I'm going to strip away everything that I don't need from the, uh, from this, uh, from the sprite. I don't need to hold an image, so that goes out. I don't need to take the image option. I don't need to take these images. Um, uh, I need some radius option. And I need some, uh, uh, this is a plain JavaScript object uh, of, uh, of CSS color names to slice uh, quantity, growth, uh, dimensions, um, uh, size. I think that's going to be the, the thing. And then, obviously, when I need to store this thing, uh, radius, I need to store the slices. Uh, oh, yes, I need to do this thing. Uh, and when I'm destructuring the options, I need to destructure the radius, and I need to destructure the slices. I'm using fancy JavaScript um, syntax for this. OK, fine. Uh, sprite options. This is not sprite options. This is by options. I don't care about the 
documentation right now. Okay, um, as I said before, a uh, sprite always has four vertices and six attribute slots or six, six uh, primitive slots. So if my vertex indices are C01.3, uh, I will have two triangles, which are C1 and 2. And then it's usually one, two, three, I think. So it becomes really confusing when you have to put things together like this, like really confusing. But this means it has like six indices, six um, uh, primitive indices. Um, for a pie chart, I'm going to have a very different number of, uh, of uh, triangles. So I need uh, at least, Three vertices per slice, so that's going to be three times this slice's uh, length. No, because I'm getting a pojo, so I need to do uh, object uh, keys, this slice's length, and it's th, not ht. I always make that mistake. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do this instead. Count, it's going to be this. I'm going to need this instead. Yes, let's count. And then how many? It's going to be only one triangle. I'm not sharing vertices, which is not going to affect this. So I need, yes, and I also need this thing. It's really confusing. When you're working with triangle meshes, you have to be conscious of, of the fact that you are sharing verte uh, vertex, vertex indices on, uh, on several triangles. So it can get a bit confusing if you're not uh, aware. So since I'm not sharing any vertex among any triangles, this is, these two counts are going to be the same. OK, fine. Uh, I think this is all the stuff I need on the on this class. This is the uh, symbol class. Uh, so a symbol is an abstract thing that can be unattached to a map and then attached to, uh, and then on the later stage attached to a map, which is the leaflet way of doing things, which I want to implement on this thing. So, uh, oh, obviously, yes, I need to add the things to the map later. If I don't do this, this will not work later. Uh, I think I did add the add method. So uh, I can just, oh yeah, I can just do multi-add and I just want the pi. Yes. Uh, could the, uh, the center of extra be served with all of them? No. And there's a very good reason why you cannot do that because the uh, a vertex is not the coordinates of a vertex. Is the vertex plus the attributes of that vertex. So if we are going to do uh, this kind of thing, the center vertex of the blue uh, slice is different from the center vertex of the red slice. So I need to have a blue center and then a red center and then a green center, etc., etc., etc. I know it's confusing. So it's a good question. Uh, no, you're wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, it's how it works. It's one of the things that makes WebGL weird and hard to understand. You have to have different vertices, even if the stiff is um, overlapping in the same uh, screen coordinate or, or the same abstract coordinate or word position or whatever you want to call it. OK, fine. Now that I have this thing, I need to, or I want to, uh, start packing it. Whenever I'm adding the thing to the map is the stage in which I do have a GL context and I can start packing things into GPU memory or start building the data structures that I need for uh, putting it into GPU memory. So I'm going to open up my Pi thing and uh, then this is the acetate Pi. I'm not doing, I don't need shelf pack. Uh, I don't need that because I'm not packing Textures. This is going to be that step pry. Uh, no, to do. Uh, I don't want to modify the angle here. I don't want to wire. Okay. So for the um, for the sprite uh, case, I need the structure amount 
the texture UV. The texture UV is what part of the image is going to be at the what part of the thing. This is just a map from 0 to 1 and 0 to 1 vertically 2. For a pie chart, I'm going to need a color and a extrusion amount. The extrusion manager is going to um, reuse it. I think that's going to be fine. This is an integer. And for the color, I want to copy the thing I have for the polygons, because why not reuse my thing? It's going to be a back 4 It's a four-element vector with red, green, blue, and alpha. And the internal format is going to be a uint int array. And it's going to be normalized. So I can input a number from one, from 0 to 255. And internally, that changes to 0 to between 0 and 1, because WebGL likes between 0 and 1. OK, uh, I don't need textures. I don't need a shelf pack. I don't need an image atlas. I don't need any of this at all whatsoever. Fine. Uh, the program definition is going to be exactly the one. I'm going to have a pixel size uniform. I'm going to have the transfer matrix from before. I'm going to have this. This I need to change. Color is going to be the one. So then in the main, uh, the only thing I need is the color varying, which is going to the same thing from here. And I just to, need to assign this thing. Uh, I'm obviously not doing it UV. So the varying it needs to be the only varying needs to be the color, um, which is also a like four. Yeah, for the color, uh, this looks okay so far. I think uh, I'm I'm using my own framework for WebGL, which makes me. Uh, this is the whole thing you need to keep into to keep in mind to make a GL program. If you have worked with Regal, this might look familiar, but I'm using my own because Regal doesn't let me the flexibility of the of saying, "Hey, I want a specific uh, attribute in a specific type and normalization, and then I want the uh, the coordinates." Don't come from this class; they come from the uh, abstract. Uh, ver asset vertices class, which is defining that uh, here. No, that is the indices. Where is the vertex thing? Uh, oh, it's symbol even? Yes. Uh, p -p 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 abstract one. Yes. So the coordinates, I'm, I'm just doing that in the base class, in the base class for this, and then on the on the children classes, uh, they are inheriting attributes, which is very nice to have when you're going to make more complicated things, especially since this does a, this framework does internal reprojection. The reprojection code depends on an attribute storage, which is going to be common across all the symbols. And then this is going to define the symbol specific attributes. Uh, if I were to do this with Regal, I would need to put that together somehow, and I don't want to do that. I want to use uh, object oriented programming inheritance for this. Fine. Um, I don't need to pack the image whatsoever. I don't need bins. And I don't need the reprojection code is going to be exactly the same, I think, because I need to reproject all of them. And somehow this code was different. Uh, I don't need the packer. Fine. Uh, OK, fine. Uh, OK, good. So when I'm calling multi-add on the map, and I'm calling multi-add instead of add, because you need to uh, use the fact, you need to make use of um, Stream, uh, no, burst. It's called burst transfers on GPU memory. You need to minimize the amount of times you write to GPU memory. So whenever you are in symbols, you want to add all those symbols at the same time to you know to minimize the amount of times you ask the GPU for something first. So this is going to uh, get a array of instances of this class. So I need to. In this code, I need to turn this class instances into actual binary packed code or binary packed data. I want to 
calculate the amount of uh, vertices that I'm going to need for the whole thing. And this is going to be, uh, do, do, do. let me see. Um, this is uh, the sprites dot map uh, sprite uh, sprite dot what was the name again uh, to length this is the sprite I don't want the sprite I want the pie here where do I have the sprite uh, attribute length um, then I want to reduce this by um, what well, was the syntax for reduce again? I always forget. Uh, reduce and it's uh, the is a function and then the yes function and starting value. Okay, fine. And the function takes accumulator and current yes. And then I create this, which is the uh, function which takes the accumulator and the value and returns the accumulator plus the value. And then the initial uh, zero, <coughs> which should be fine. So this should me this should give me uh, initial value. Yes, that's the thing I'm doing. I don't need to put the core libraries. If I'm going to go full arrow functions, I don't need to put the core, the core libraries. This is equal to doing uh, this thing. Th it, this is one of the reasons I don't really like, or uh, I, I'm not a very big fan of arrow uh, syntax, because I don't know if I'm returning an object literal with the core libraries, or I am doing a statement block with the core libraries. That, in my head, is ambiguous. I don't like it. And then the... Uh, total name of triangle indices, which is the primitive slots, is going to be exactly the same, except I'm going to use index length here. And then I need to allocate how many of this I'm going to allocate total vertices. And then I need to allocate indices. The accumulator is that, so that's good. Um, then for its oh, this is not sprites. This is pies. This is pies, and it's pies, and it's pies, and it's pie. So uh, whenever I'm adding a pie to an acetate so it can be rendered, I want to update some internal reference. This is the equal to the uh, leaflet uh, map, like uh, underscore map to note to notify or to denote. That it's been used. So instead, I'm going to sum the uh, symbol number of uh, vertices here, length, and same with the index length. Fine. And then I don't need the bin. Okay, good. So the indices is going to be, I'm going to assign all the indices. Uh, I should, maybe instead of this, I should make, I should loop through the slices instead of the vertices. No, because I'm going to need to iterate through the pies in order to do the coordinates. Yes. Uh, okay, so what I'm not, what am I doing here? Pi for example, this is B, not S. I'm not doing a sprite, I'm doing, I'm doing pies, and uh, it's pi. So the indices, this needs to be uh, uh, an in ever-increasing list of... Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, I need to, to, I need to declare the, all the triangles for this here. So the base is going to be the base of the pi, and then here I need to do a three items per slice. So instead of this, I will want to do something like return uh, p dot slices dot map. Uh, for each slice, I will want an array of three, which is uh, two, two, two. 
and array of three, which is going to be base, base plus one, base plus two, and then uh, I need to I need to update the accumulator here as well. Uh, plus three, uh, and then I return, I return it. I probably could copy paste this from somewhere else, but the, the idea is that I'm going to, for every slice, I need to make it to instantiate three vertices. And this is just for the indices. This is telling how the vertices um, make up the triangles. And this is going to fail somewhere later, I'm pretty sure. And then I need to flat this thing. You know, to create, uh, instead of an array of arrays, I need just one array. And I'm flatting it later. OK, so instead of that, I'm going to just flat two levels. So I can do that. And uh, hopefully, this will work. I don't care about the texture size. OK, and this is the attributes. This is going to be fun. Um, I don't need to worry about the CRS coordinates at first, but in here I need to create a race which look like the definition of the attributes here. So if you look at how the sprite is working, I'm returning the extrusion amount here, and then the um, uh, UV coordinate here. So for our slices, I will need to return something like uh, extrusion here, and then our GBA for each vertex. OK? So this is going to be true for vertex uh, 0, and then vertex 1, and vertex 2 for each slice in the, uh, for each triangle in the slice. And then I will need to, yes, I, I'm going to need to flat everything. Oh my god. Um, for each pi, uh, I want to, oh my god, I haven't summed up the, I should make the sum of the values so I can know how big the thing are. OK. I need to go back to the abstract thing. OK. Um, it's going to be uh, the sum of all the values. If I am doing this thing like this, uh, so I want a sum of all values. I'm going to flat map. Is flat, uh, Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I just want to make this and, and worry about uh, optimizations later. Uh, I want to do object, uh, and I cannot use flat here because this is an object, not, a, not an array. So I need to do object values of these slices, then map it. So it's a slice returns the slice. No, I don't need to map it at all because that's already the numeric value. I can just reduce it. Uh, I should make a like a sum reduce at some point in the in the library. And this is the accumulator and the value uh, current and that returns accumulator uh, plus current and the initial is zero and that's the reduce. Okay. I have the whole value sum here. Maybe I could also uh, create the initial angle of the thing, maybe? I'm not sure. OK, uh, I'm just going to code as crazy if I can try and, and, and try to make this work, even if it's not working beautifully. But I really want to speed this up. I need to speed this up. So, OK, uh, now uh, this is the pi, yes, this is the pi. Now, for the first vertex, this is going to be the initial vertex. Uh, this needs to be, uh, that's in the alpha. And this is going to be mat cos of alpha, right? And then I want to something like mat sin of beta. I will need beta here, and you will need beta here. I cannot use, no, 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 I cannot use that. I, I want to use omega. It's fine. At some point, I, I, I really enjoy to put UTF Greek math symbols in my code, because that's actually 
you know, I cannot use Hoffa anyway, because that's, ah, damn it. Because that's alpha, of the, ah, I don't want, I don't want to use the word alpha. I want to use, ah, what's the initial angle? Theta. And the final angle is going to be omega because I want to use omega anyway. Okay. Yes, I know this is risky. I'm doing this live. This is this is the good thing about live coding. Anyone right now is like, ah, if I make this work, and because I'm I'm just writing code. The, one of the problems with WGL, and this is a real problem, is you have to plan everything in advance, write everything, and then hope for the best. It's absolutely awful. Okay, now what is my uh, pi mat p, p? Oh God. Uh, I cannot, this is one pi, so, in, okay. So for each pi, I need to let uh, theta is going to be zero, and then um, slice data is going to be the uh, pi slices map, whatever. And this is slice, this is going to be the big one here. So for each slice, I want to return this thing, right? That's the per slice data for the triangles. Um, if anything, if this goes horribly wrong, this at least should serve as an example of how mind-boggling working with WebGL really is. Uh, I don't think I need this anymore. And then I can flat this thing. Uh, actually, you know what? I can just return slice data dot flat, dot flat. That should be that should be it. Uh, base vertex sprite level things. Oh my god, I'm going to need to work on the reproject code you know, to make more of them. Oh, damn it. Uh, start length. Oh god, because this is uh, attribute length. No, this is going to work. This is going to work. This is going to work. This has to work. Okay, so. Uh, Let omega equals, uh, this is going to be theta plus, okay, help me out here, folks, because I'm just, oh my god, what's the thing I need to, uh, is theta plus the delta, what's the delta when I have the slice, this is slices map, no, no, this is an object, I cannot use this, I need to do object values. Uh, got map, and this is the color and amount because that's how it maps. I need to structure things here. This code is already understandable because I'm using modern JavaScript. I'm modern JavaScript, I hate it. Uh, color and amount, and then, yes, uh, you know what? I'm going to do the easy part, which is parsing the color because I already parsed the color here in this other class. And um, where are you doing that? Feel color. Oh, no, I'm doing it here in the symbol already. I am pre processing this. This is pre processed. I can use this thing here and this thing here. Uh, I don't really care about colors, but let's do it because this is the easy part. This is going to do a four element array. So that's the good part. Uh, this color, no, this I'm going to do const color. I can just hide this thing, uh, go away. Uh, yes, I did it the right way. So instead of RGBA, I can just do color here. All right, uh, color. And color. And this should work, right? This should work. Now, this is the problem. Since I don't know what I'm doing, and I know that my only my only pie has six, right? It has six slices. So I'm going to math.py in twelve. Because a circle is two times. I'm going to put twelve and watch it 
explode in my face. This is going to be fun, right? Everybody was going to just love seeing things like explode. And then, uh, I don't want to return this. That, uh, but, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, uh, this is packed, and then I need to update theta is equal to omega to next part, and then I return packed, right? And I need to, I, I'm going to console log this thing, because I'm, I'm, I'm not sure this is going to work at all. I'm consoling log slice data. And hopefully when I look at slice data, it makes sense. Yes, sweet Lord, this is, this is how WebGL development looks like. It's absolutely horrible. And this is the easy, the understandable part with having control over your attributes. Yes, oh my God, Maria, so nuts. Thank you so much for that image. That's how I feel about right now. If you want to see this failing in your own computer, you can do it by visiting the URL that I said before and going to the 13 pi thing. This is going to explode. How is it going to explode? I have no idea. Good, image is undefined. Why am I doing in Sprite? I don't want to use the Sprite. I'm not using Sprite in this. I'm not using Sprite at all. Where is it? I'm not using Sprite in this code. Why is this? No. No. 15 pi 175. Why are you doing 175? Uh, pi mod. This is a pi. This is a pi. Pi. So pi. This is pi. Where is the Sprite name coming from? I'm going to, oh my God, I forgot about this part. Yes, so it's Sprite. I'm not doing, I don't know what, uh, I want to do a pi, because this is called differently, right? Come on, don't give me the, no, I don't want this. I'm not using that as a dead Sprite at all in this code. Like, no, no, no. I'm not using that acetate. Why are you telling me I have that acetate? I'm not using this. This can just, this can just go away. Uh, I can just fold this. I can fold this color around. I can fold this. This code. I'm not using sprites in here whatsoever. I'm 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 not using sprites. Did I save the thing? Just, oh my god, I hate this thing. Yes. Oh no, you, you should have you would have no pie, Johannes, at all. Uh you doing 125. You're doing this. You're doing this, and this is a pie. But you you are doing this. Okay, I need to into I need to go into full debug mode and trace this. What the hell is going on here? Uh, I want to go here. I want to set a breakpoint. Come on, set a break. Set a breakpoint. Okay, you don't want to set a breakpoint? Fine. I'll do it the hard way then. I need to go into symbols and then go into in my pi symbols and just I'm just going to check that this is um, instantiating the pi. It's pie, not pizza. That's a pizza gif. You know, yes, it's doing the thing. And it's getting radius and it's getting slices. Good thing. Uh, nice. Uh, so I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I want to get out. And then I'm going to multi add. Oh my God, did I? Oh. The multi add is uh, what? The. F I don't. Oh no, this is running my extensions. I don't want to run my extensions. I don't want to debug my extensions right now. Why aren't you doing this to me? Uh, I'm going to do it the old way. I don't know. I'm, going, I'm not going to do the multi add because the multi add is failing right now. I need to do it the old way, which is what was the old way to add these things? This thing. This code is horrible. That's why the multi add should get rid of this thing. Uh, this is a whole. This has a whole different reason of why this is. This needs to be pi mod. Okay, fine. Uh, are you seriously why? Good, my browser crashed. Boom. Get me another Firefox.
No, tarta. Vicky, tarta. Estamos hablando de gráficos de tarta en un mapa. Es de lo que se trata. Entonces, para cada tarta tiene que haber secciones de la tarta y no es lo que me está funcionando. Además, estoy usando la palabra acetato porque no me gusta el tema de capas. Eh, OK, fine. No, you go away. Uh, come on, I have 20 minutes to make this work. Why are you not working? Uh, are you really crushing on me right now? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Uh, I don't want content script. I want to ignore this. Uh, so, okay. Where are you failing right now? Image is undefined. Uh, this is 129. Uh, like, seriously. Why? Where am I? What am I doing wrong? I have the pie thing here. The pi symbol and the pi symbol is defined in the class pi, and this is my sprite anyway. Oh my, I am an idiot. Yes, this needs to make reference to the thing that it's actually making the. <sighs> this is why I was using the wrong class to try and pack the binary data, which was expecting. Yes. Invalid or function arguments. Yes, this is running my code. This is a progress. This is progress. This is a different, uh, remember, folks, a different error code, a different error message. It's progress. As I said, pi 139. So we're going to go to Athenate pi 139. This is one of the accumulators, right? This is a yes, 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 yes. Freaking arrow functions. I hate arrow functions. This is fine. This is. Protection from client color. Okay, where am I doing the color again wrong? Oh, yes, yes. I'm using color and then assigning to color. Yay. Uh, color array, because why not? And then uh, color array, and then uh, color array. Fine. Are you going to work now? This is this is progress. This is progress. I'm, I'm, I'm working through the other messages now. Okay, 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 fine. This is fine. Can I have the, the dog on fire thing here? I said pi and five sprites. See, Chad, I need to uh, object entry. Wait a second! I am not keeping up with myself. I'm panicking right now. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work through the error message. This is 95. 95. This is sprite. Oh my, why, why? It needs to be. It needs to be object entries. Yes. Yes. No, it's not sprites. I'm not doing sprites. I'm doing pies. I uh, I'm doing pies. I changed the names for a reason because I'm working with a different symbol. This is not the sprite symbol. This is the pies. Come on, give me a different error code now. Why is you the same error code? Okay, sprites, sprite pies, pies, which pie slices. Slices. My, I no no no. This is not. This is the um, no. Uh, this needs to be object keys of the slices. I don't care if it's the key or whatever. This obviously has a lot of optimization to do. Everything is fine. Yes, but it's not defined at one three three. This is another renaming to do. Part what? Oh no no. I have to I have to map. I have to map the things again. Pi is dot map, and then for its pi, I want to uh, wait a second. This is a uh, uh, uh. oh my god! I'm, I'm I'm blocking myself. No, uh, this is a pi's map. Uh, wait, was it the beginning? Wait, this is uh, pies, and it's p is a pie, and it's uh, 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 dot and no, 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 no. Uh, pies map the pie goes to. 
Yes. Yes. That's the thing. And then for each pi, I return the slices of that pi, and then I flatten everything. Right? Right now I'm trying to. Yes. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Good! It's a different thing. It's a different. Slice data is not interval? What the hell? 138. Come on. Give me something. No, you. Ah. Oh my god, no! I'm not going to have an error 999999 in here. No freaking way. Okay, so what is pie slices? I have pie slices here. What's my. Uh, if I have I have my pie, I'm eating it or a pie. That's that's good. I have my slices. I, I get pie slices. This is this is good. This is good. So then I just want to. I, I cannot map object values of that. Uh, of my slices. No, I want entries. Damn it! Not values. I want entries. Yes, I want entries, not values. That's a problem. Uh, I want object entries of its. Yes. 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 No! It's, it, it's terrible, damn it. It is iterable. What rates on the. What? What? No. 149. Come on, I'm making progress here. Race parse color color. I have parse color defined. Oh, up there. Oh, come on. Color race undefined. Oh, I'm making an accessor here. No, I'm not making an accessor. Color ray, color ray. Uh, this is filling in which line exactly? Oh, my God. Uh, 149. So that means it's filling at this line? No. Okay, come on. <laughs> but this means Bell, I know. You're still failing. Why are you failing? Oh my god. I am freaking out right now because this is not working as I expected. Colorase. Oh my god, I'm missing a comma here. I'm missing a comma here, right here, right here. And nobody's telling me I'm missing a comma. Yes, and here too. That's why it's trying to do the thing. This is a race in a race in a race. Nested, nested arrays inside nested arrays. Okay, okay, this is better. We have a spread is not the fine hit. I renamed everything. No, no, I, I have the total number of things. I have the total number of things. I have the total number of things. I have the total number of things here. I don't need to do this. Okay, okay, okay. This is progress somehow. Because that's that's a red bird, that's the red center vertex. So now because you are have been following this all along, you know that this array here, this is a, a, a array of three things, and each of these three things is the data for its for the first triangle. So this is the red triangle, and this has the vertex data. So the first thing is the extrusion coordinates for the center. This is the color for the center of the red thing. And this is the extrusion for the, it's, there shouldn't be one. Oh my God, this is kind of working. Yes, the, it's zero one. Absolutely, it's making a one pixel thing. Nobody told me, hey, Ivan, you forgot about the freaking radius. This is the, oh my God, times, uh, uh, no, this is per pi. So pi let, uh, this is actually const error equals pi radius. So I can multiply this times r, times r, times r, times r. So now, 
before it was just making a radius one pi. I need to multiply it by the radius of the actual thing, which should be, I think I put like 40. <sighs> yes, yes, I have a slice. Yes, it's working. <laughs> and that slice is, you know, something to, this is so nice. I have something. <laughs> I'm, this is progress. <laughs> oh my God, yes. <laughs> so the first triangle is passing all right. This is extruding zero. This is the relative coordinates of everything. <laughs> oh my God, yes. <laughs> No, I want to see what the hell has wrong in this other things. Also, this is not 12. This, this should be thirds, I think. This should be thirds. Oh, my God. This should be thirds. That's more like it. That, that's more like the length I was looking for. Or the, not the length. <laughs> the uh, angle I was looking for. And obviously, if I go back to uh, my initial thing and I put more a uh, much higher or a um, lower value for red, that's going to have a different aperture. So I told don't don't do this to me. Like seriously, don't don't do this to me. I changed the thing from 10 to 2. You should be Oh my, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? I should have, I have the data for the six triangles. This is easy to understand. I'm, I'm looking at the data for the six triangles. If of the, the, if of the data for each triangle has three items, which is data for each vertex, and this is not red. Okay. And this is, and this, the, Second, the the second element of the third item is exactly the thing. The angles are not working right. I'm not accumulating the angle right for whatever reason. Um, damn it! This is failing impressively. I am accumulating here. I am an idiot. It's not by math by three. Yes, this is where the uh, pi dot. What was the name? But the variable name for the total amount of the thing. Uh, I I did this. I did this. I have the value sum. Yes, I have the value sum. I can do this thing here. Uh, so this is going to be instead of pi radi uh, theta. It's pi. This is the pi value sum. Minus uh, amount, right? It's theta plus this times math pi times two, right? Or something like that. And it's broken again. Woohoo! Perfect. Um, times instead of divided by. I'm panicking so hard. I broke it. Yes, I broke it. So I'm going to go back to the constant thing. Um, I'm going to this thing here. Ah, and I'm, I'm going back to this and this. Yes, yes, yes. Oh uh, my God, it's not working. Oh, maybe it's theta plus. I'm accumulating theta. I am accumulating theta. I am accumulating theta and omega should be the end of the pie chart of the thing. Oh my God, why are you failing? It, it's working. It's working. The, the final theta, the final theta is 2 pi. And the initial, the, the final omega is 2 pi. And this is, why is this not working? I do have the answer. Yes, yes, it's console lock time, folks. This is success. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not pulling this off. I'm so angry at myself. At least you're seeing that I'm making progress. At, oh, something that I can show you, and this is going to work. This is going to work. If I change the color here 
and I say this is going to be lime green, that color is going to be changed in here. It's lime green. That at least works. <laughs> the data is passing along. And OK, I, I'm going to recap and, and, and drop this up here. I have had um, partial success. I'm, I'm displaying one triangle instead of six triangles, which was the original like goal of this life coding. Uh, I call this success, believe it or not. I'm, I'm showing you that from the initial definition of the symbol, of, of this geographic symbol here, with the geometry and the data for the symbol, I can spawn the data for the triangles. And some of the data is going all the way through the packed uh, binary data and it's going through, coming through the, coming through to the GPU and it's rendering. Not everything's working. Some parts are working. This needs like another two hours of debugging. I have been panicking for the last hour. Thank you so much for putting up with me. If you have any actual questions instead of memes, now is the time to put them on the chat. Thanks for joining me in this freaking roller coaster ride of a live coding session. Thank you to you, Ivan. It was so amazing. I'm so excited. And I I think uh, the audience, everybody has had a lot of fun with you. Yes, so, as long as yes, as long as people realize that this thing here is like, okay, I'm 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 telling the code to render six slices. So these represent the six slices, and these represent like three vertices in a triangle, and these represent the, the coordinates and color of that triangle. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. This is the, if everybody has the, the, the idea of how hard it is to code WebGL, like raw WebGL, I'm happy with this result. <laughs> Been great. Uh, perhaps uh, yeah. if you have any recommendation of, um, material where to start, I mean, yeah. It um, be great yes, I do have uh, I do have another talk on Friday about some technical aspects, which is going to be a, a more academic talk, or the the style of the talk is going to be more <laughs> relaxed with more links and and so on. And if you're interested in this, please join me in my adventure criticizing all the all the obstacles I face when I when I do any WebGL work. I'm That's on sweating. Friday. Yeah. I, I don't remember what point, but yeah, it's it's Friday. <laughs> Everybody's sweating. Everybody's having fun and oh <laughs> just uh, enjoying our life. Our this is uh, open source. This is a developer live session. So we yes. appreciate <laughs> so much your effort. Yeah, your energy. Thank you so much. And I would like to invite the audience. Um, to the keynote speaker in the room, Malena Liefman. And uh, there is also a social gathering later. So uh, if there is no any further question, so. <sighs> I, am, uh, I, am, I am done for today, folks. If, Thank you so when much. When are you opening your Twitch account again? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and what was I... the flavor of the, cof the cake? Oh. <laughs> It's lime green cake. <laughs> yeah, and um, another person asked if you always code with these many emotions. Uh, no, because I also I usually code not under pressure. This is coding under pressure. <laughs> with a lot of people watching you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so <laughs> this is this has been quite the experience for me as well. <laughs> Yeah, I think for everybody, we enjoy a lot. Okay, yeah. with this, uh, if you want to say something else, just uh, thank you so much to you, Ivan. Thank you to the audience. Everybody just uh, contribute to make this session just awesome. Thank yeah. you and have a good uh, evening, afternoon. So bye-bye.